Hip-Hop's best indie hip-hop. Welcome to Rap Nerd Radio, episode one. First track, Casino ATX. Wanna ride? Shout out Austin, Texas. Let's go. Fresh in the new designer, OG dope rhyme, I'm pulling prima donnas, cutting slicing like a new katana. Oh, I used to be the mayor, but I elevated, now you walk and call me Keen Obama. Looking presidential, killer with my pencil, now my baby can't explain the comments. Sipping sake at the Benny Hollis, from Breezy Fresh in the new designer. OG dope rhyme, I'm pulling prima donnas, cutting slicing Jiggy like a new katana. Jiggy the Rebel, Gold Leaves. Don't peel, cool as ice, and everything's going to cheer. Grab a ticket, take me like a last appeal. Looking like a feat of science. Never lazy, nigga. Hearing all this garbage, gotta clean it up like Captain Planet. So I'm planning, wilding out like Nick Cannon, cooking up like Hispanics in the hood, like mechanics. But I manage, take advantage, don't panic like the Statue of Liberty. Keep standing, go talk. This a man sport. Safe landers like the airport. Classic style like Jan Sport. Fuck waiting, demand more. Cause you win some, lose some. Dive in like the pool fun, but watch your moves like a smooth nun. I ain't done, homie. Word, just keep that shit G, uh, goalies, goalies, yeah, uh, uh goalies. Uh, family business right here, hey, Shrilla, back up, Wichita, Kansas, what up, 316, the difference between us is I ain't stressing on these hoes, hit the streets, me and my bros, made a blessing off of the O's, all the love and loyalty, we plan on sticking to that coach, trying to make our way out of these streets, don't plan on sticking to that road, dripping stains while I'm changing lanes, we are not the same, when you broken ain't got shit to show, we are not to blame, we try and own some shit, house and businesses, we call that ownership, carry conceal, you run up on us, you on a donor list, cut off a lot of friends, just call that bad company, won't even share my music, but you claiming that you fuck on me, why you're my nigga, that's the squad that's gonna be stuck with me, and anybody dissing when you see me, know what's up with me, bound scales for sale, my nigga, we came out that trap, and if this rap shit don't start panning now, then we are going back, that's just me, don't condone that shit, that's just what I did, and when I finally got a chance to leave, best believe I quit, all that shit I'm out here doing, I can't leave that for my kids, plus I got daughters, wanna raise them small, show them how to live, seen their grandpa go to prison, they know how real it is, them shots is cool until you learn to get you nowhere in that field, on them songs you out 
out here popping dudes. Always got that too. Now you in jail. Got no commissary like your mother do. That shit is whack. Why not stay out here? Switch up your attacks. Just play it cool. Watch out how you move or your ass going back. Just a thought. Don't take my advice. Dog, just live your life. And if it's one thing, me and mine ain't doing care about the hype. Give a fuck about what they say. If it don't affect my pay. What's that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing, 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 that thing that people always say? Haters gonna hate you. Wanna bag? Gotta get a bag. Get up off your ass. Only way to stop me getting money. My toe getting tagged. Only way to stop me getting money. Zipped up in the bag. But don't get caught. Cause if my bro find out, then them niggas gon' spaz. I'm like, ooh. Said I know, I know, I know. My squad's about a gang. We ain't gon' stop getting this dough. And I'm like, ooh. Said I know, I know, I know. Young rich familiar to that shit. Familiar, that's just how it go. Ooh, say both the way you seen a nigga. Run into that money. Lost it all. Got it right. It came back just like a bungee. Grass greener on the other side. But it ain't always sunny. Cause I promise if you play with mine, on your ass like a onesie, nigga. Ooh. Said I know, I know, I know. That my squad's about a gang. We ain't gon' stop getting this dough. And I'm like, ooh. Said I know, I know, I know. Young rich familiar to that shit's familiar. That's just how it go, nigga. Flatbush, New York, what up? <laughs> Germs, WWJD. 50 in the Taurus, that's for many men. Custodial accounts are in every pen. I just made a bag off dividends. I put a bag on Zimmerman. Capital of crypto, they can't raid the spot. Ownership is key, so we'll praise a lot. Prayer and Kevlar, cut from a fabric that stepped on, slept on, but spot clean. No PGRs in what I'm high off. Accessory rail, can't sleep with the light off. Hit you through the coat, take the night off. Caught a ton of armor on the V and this a write off. Wild caught, the fishbowl is ballistic. Guerrilla warfare, gotta throw a few lips. From next year, the day's over, but they vintage. Scope mount, some you gotta love from a distance. I'm distant. Still dumping phones full of country codes. 100 plus grand pendants off a of 100 stones. Jam with that smoke. Blade on the collision of cough if you get that close. Live it and talk through it. The family is con through it. Still tear up the con do it. They watching the Don do it. Real work. That's without the vax. You could tap in. Now I don't got a tax. Product on the road. Payment at the dock. Everything off the books and I'm on the clock. CFO numbers. Funds FEMA fit. Tennis shoe box, Bill Serena thick. Compliment the bottles, house of friends with the simple. Reason with dinner elements, hold the kimchi. Your palate's not ready for this type of cabbage. The lean luggage, there's a budget for this type of baggage. Pockets not matching your drip. And I ain't talking packing your ish. Rick Flair with the rolly. Keep the flat head in the stone. Still dumping phones full of country codes. 100 plus grand pendants off a hundred stones. Jam with that Steve only. NWA, nigga with anxiety. Give me a couple favors, make sure that my pen right. Don't. VA, what up? 757 in the building. Let's go.
curve and all of these bombs feel like it's Christmas time. Looking forward to a happy new year. I'm plotting on the future, why you happy right here? I'm in my dressing room, putting on my flight gear. Whoever at the top, they just warming my chair. Yeah, make moves, make the earth move. Yeah, I'm going in like a curfew. Put your pride to the side, don't let it hurt you. Ain't no outsiders inside, and that's the first rule. This is it, bitch, back here talking big shit. I'm the big fish, these rappers are fish sticks. She just hit Nick when she need a quick fix. Take her straight to the house like a pick six. Uh, no flag on the play, no door dash, but I got a bag on the way. Running out of room for this cash in the safe. Swear they never saw me coming like a jab to the face. Uh, 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 uh. Make moves, never waste a second. Calculated like I'm playing Tetris. Why you out here trying to make it? I'm just making records. Why the music y'all making feel like the Great Depression? Welcome to Rap Nerd Radio. We're on our own frequency. Nobody does it better. Ice Means featuring Boss Hog. Stupid. West Coast stand up. Italian leather. Uh, my young boy uh, would take your life for a prezi with ice uh, and leave you out to dry like dope when it's in the rice. Uh, 
feel like X and belly driving through the red lights. I saw a nigga lose his life from ass bent and dice. They hated on my chain, he emperor, and I bought two. So any animosity they had, now it's times two. These niggas sick, and they hot, bitch, they got the flu. They think I hit my prime, nah, nigga, this a preview. As niggas hating on me faithfully. But I'm getting blessed gratefully. Every move calculated like this. Four hours of non-stop indie hip hop right here on Rap Nerd Radio. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy D Sick, aka the Rap Nerd. This is the first episode of Rap Nerd Radio, man, and it's a pleasure to have this guest right here, man, tearing up the streets of the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing underground for a long time. I first heard of him when he dropped No Industry. And I've been a fan ever since, man. This dude got a new album out, Chapter 4. Side A, Side B. With no further ado, J-Badge, ladies and gentlemen. What's good with you, bro? What's good with you, bro? Like I said, appreciate you for having me on, bro. Uh, yeah, on the side, let's get right into it. Yeah, man. I definitely want to ask you about this album. Because, let me first off, let me say, man, the album is fire, bro. Super fire. Appreciate you. Can I ask you which one? Uh, you like side A or side B most? Man, it's a toss up. Really, I kind of oh, like I kind of like side B the most. Okay. But you know, both of them, I, I see how they both have their purpose. Like I noticed that the side A yeah. was a little bit more laid back and a little bit more vulnerable stuff like that. Yeah. But but you did tap into that also on side B. Side B, yeah. I feel like I wrapped it up with side B, like. You feel me? I tried to come hard. I tried to come with the more trappy type of shit on side B, but I wrapped it up with the, I don't know. I wrapped it up with some, I don't know. I tried to keep it hip hop on both sides. You feel me? But uh, yeah. yeah, side A. Side A was my favorite, but like after listening a few times, bro, I've been, I'm falling in love with side B, probably because I didn't really listen to side. Side B came together like, shit. I probably like got rid of like three songs on there and like uh, recorded like two, added two last mini ones. So like hearing it, it, sound, it sounds more fresh to me. You feel me? Like yeah. side A, I, I had those songs done for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but then again, you know, like I said, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna keep listening and I might change my mind. Who knows? But it's all good though. That's the important part of it, man. Thanks, appreciate so it. like, tell us about like just the process of making this album and like what your mindset was going into it. Man. So it started with side A for show. Sure. This is the longest I worked on a project. I probably uh, started it like around, the, I wanna say, what is this? It? Uh, it's November right now. Yeah. Probably started it around, I don't wanna say, it wasn't a full year. I'll probably say like, I probably worked on it for like 10 months or so. But you took but, your time with it. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I took my time with it for real. Cause like usually if I, if I want to do a project, I usually knock it out. But this one, cause I knew that I was going to present this one as my debut album, you feel me? So yeah. I wanted to just, I focus more on the sound, you feel me? Try to like put a concept together and shit, like just shit like that. But uh, yeah, bro, I was just, uh, usually my albums come when I'm in my darkest places. And then like, that's when I get my ID and then it kind of just, it just sparked from there. So like, I was just dealing with a lot of stuff mentally, just uh, just mental health, spiritual shit. Like you hear a lot of that on the first side. For sure. But uh, but yeah, that's really where it came from. It was just just me being in that dark place and me needing to pull myself back to the light. And I, yeah. I, the way I do that shit is with the music, for real. I feel that sometimes that's just when the best art comes out. Sometimes when you're in the darkest days, I don't know why it works that way, but it just does. Facts. I, I think it'll change. I think. That's why I want to see myself in the future, just like, just when, you feel me, when life starts to come together and shit, like, but I'm still going to be creating, I'm, I'm going to be creating music through the good or bad, so, like, going forward, I feel like my, I want to see, like, what my, just, like, what my shit sounds like, just, like, on a more, when my life just is in a more positive state, you feel me, just, like, seeing, like, the, seeing the evolution of that shit, like, it's just fun to watch for me, even though, like, I'm talking about myself, but, like, just seeing, like, the evolution, I just be going back to my shit, like, in 2017 just seeing like oh i've been telling like the same story but like you could hear the evolution a little bit in it so it's like i don't know it's just a lot to look forward to for me yeah and so like you know like like you said there's a lot of spiritual topics on here and i can kind of tell that you're on somewhat of a spiritual journey 
Uh, can yeah. you let us know something that you've learned during this spiritual journey or like, you know, learning yourself during the process of making this music or just through life in general? I would say, uh, do what you want. That's really what I, that's what I came, that's what it came down to with like, I feel like I was trying to tell myself that for like a good like two years, but like I feel like this year finally just clicked like, bro, like you could really do what you want with this shit now, whether whatever that means for you, whether you're doing what you want, whether it's music, whether it's life or whatever, but just carrying the mentality of like doing what you want, like this shit is not for anybody's approval. This shit is really for myself to create, you feel me? And it's like, uh, just, I don't know. It's like, I go through a lot of shit in life. I've been through a lot of shit in life. So it's, uh, for me, it's just wanting to be more open, you feel me? Like, me trying to see how much I could open up, open myself up and shit, but, uh, man, bro, I, I had I had a lot of spiritual, just spiritual experiences that helped me write a lot of these songs. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, it's- I uh, heard about the, yeah, the bad trips and all that. I was listening. Bad, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all that, like, yeah, I had a, yeah, man, a few, a few of these, a few of those trips, probably like he'll make this out not all bad ones but it's some good ones too but just like honestly i don't even believe in good or bad trips like that it's like because even after my bad trips that i've had like with psychedelics and shit like i every time i had a quote-unquote bad trip i came out of it feeling better somehow it just gave me a new perspective it made me appreciate something more so it's like so you feel yeah, like whether it was good or bad it was the truth yeah facts that's what I, it's a line on there that uh my boy uh, AC Kadar said he said good or bad trip on shrooms I'm a tourist and it's like that's even really one of my favorite lines on the project just because it's like well, no matter where the trip takes you it's like okay we're gonna come out of this and it's gonna be something productive and I just feel like it just it just I come out of I come out of there with a clear mind you feel me regardless of what I go through but uh, yeah but yeah 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 that, okay I like that man but look taking it all the way back right like to when you yeah. first got into hip-hop like around what age did you figure out that you wanted to rap who are some of the people that inspired you and like what really made you want to take on you know the moniker of J-Bass Ooh, I started my first song was when my first song was damn near when I turned 18 excuse me I knew I wanted to rap before that though like I started writing like I always wrote because I got uh, my older brother. He's a rapper. Uh, my older cousin, they was uh, he was they was rappers. Also, I seen them growing up. So I always just you feel me like jotting down shit. But like I ain't get serious till uh, till I turn eighteen because uh, my senior year I, I'm a uh, what's it called I'm a hooper. You feel me? But uh, yeah. I fractured my wrist my senior year. You feel me? So it was just like a. It was a lot of time. I never had that much time to myself, you feel me? So it was like, shit, what else I'm gonna do? What else do I know? Like music, I damn near just grew up in music. So it's like, so I feel like I automatically just slowly transitioned. So yeah, I, 18, dropped my first song. My first song was called 17. Shit sounded terrible, but- uh, <laughs> That's <laughs> but how I, it go. Yeah, it's the journey though. It's the journey yeah, for- facts. But, uh, but yeah, I feel like by the time I, uh, shit. 2017 that's my uh my real debut project it was called trench jackson and that's where i feel like once i dropped that that's when i was like okay yeah i'm j badge like yeah this that's... Is like, like that's when it became like official to me and that's where i really wanted to okay. take it to a level you feel me okay but who was you listening to coming up to i was listening to oh man all right uh okay my favorite probably like from eighth grade up to uh up to my senior year, my favorite, my top two is Nas and Kendrick. It was, uh, mm. I found out of discovery Kendrick, like when I was in eighth grade, that's probably like 2010. So it was like early on, like right before section 80, I discovered Kendrick and like then, overly dedicated days. Over, yeah, yeah, them yeah. days. You, and then uh, I want to say probably like, I know it sounds hella funny cause I'm, but I'm hella young, but like eighth grade, eighth, ninth grade, that's when I discovered Nas. Like that's when I really discovered like Illmatic, like because I was already like in the hip hop and shit. So I'm like, okay, Tupac, Biggie, like Mob Deep, all that shit. And then, but just kept seeing Nas's name just pop up through history and shit. So like, yeah, by the time I turned like 14, 15, I'm like, okay, yeah. Like bro, I played Illmatic just front to back probably like a thousand times, just like, through my just through my high school years, so I just gotta say Nas and Kendrick. For Nas sure, and that's... Kendrick probably 
That's yeah. a good answer, man. But like, and, and I don't fault you for that because it took me a long time to really mm -hmm. understand what Nas was talking about. I didn't he really did. realize how fire Illmatic was. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was, even as the rap nerd, I thought Illmatic was overrated for the longest uh -huh. time. But as yeah. I got a little bit older, I'm like, oh no, nah, Nas was really on there yeah. preaching. And now, that I, and now that I listen to it when I'm older, like, I'm like, oh man, like, it was like, man, I was like listening to this shit when I was younger, but I was like, I didn't really understand this shit the way I do now. I'm like, yeah, this nigga was on some different shit. I also gotta say, what's it called? I gotta say, even though he on some bullshit, but Kanye too. Kanye, oh, for sure. Yeah, Kanye, uh, I'm trying to think who else. Kanye, yeah. uh, what I would you say? Go ahead. I was gonna say that uh, I honestly didn't expect your answers that you've been given. Like, I know that I can see that lyrical side of you and yeah. I hear it. So mm -hmm. I'm not that surprised, but I definitely yeah. was expecting to hear like some people from the South in there or something yeah. like that or like- That's what I gotta throw in what's the call too. So that's like my early, like, that's like my, I say that's like my, my youth, you feel me? But like later on I did like future well, damn near up yeah features up there for me it's like or some yeah. west coast at least yeah yeah it's uh Boy, yeah, kendrick I, yeah kendrick uh andre nicotina i don't know if you heard of him but he's a he from san francisco you got to check him out i ain't gonna lie okay and, uh, yeah andre nicotina and mac Dre for show sure. definitely gotta pay legend yeah. homage to the legends man um, where do you see your legacy within the next like five years and about five years from now I want to be able to look back at this interview and be like look j Bad said he was going to do this and he did that so what would you you know say where do you see yourself in five years man I'm trying to be on a uh, a motherfucking big ass piece of land mm -hmm. with some plants you feel me the cannabis coast crunch you okay. feel me chilling I, what i'm gonna be i'm gonna be 30 in five years so i'm still gonna be making music but uh i just want to uh take it take it uh i just want to take it to another level just on the business side because like at this point i didn't show it i could rap i could rap my ass off like i didn't show it that and that shit's just like second nature to me so it's like the next five years for me is just about to be about bumping elbows making connections with the right people and just trying to uh just get my name out there because just so the talent don't go don't uh don't get overlooked you feel me because i feel like the i feel like 25 to 30 is a important time it's like mm -hmm. that's the, that's the window it's like anything before this it's like okay you building yourself up really to prepare for this but this five-year window i feel like it's really that's when it's time to get serious about this shit okay well speaking of that like you know like i said my introduction to you was no industry do you mm -hmm. ever see yourself signing a deal if the money is right or do you you know what i'm saying what are your thoughts on that do you want to be independent forever like what's what's that looking like for you i got i think i gotta be independent together i know that there is good deals out there that that can be beneficial to artists but me i'm just if you know me i'm, I'm real controlling so like i just can't ever see myself just like on another on somebody else's schedule like when i gotta mm -hmm. drop when i gotta promote how i gotta do it like so right. it's it's not even like it is fuck the industry but for me it's really like a personal thing it's like man i can't i gotta have control over my shit or else I'm gonna be looking back like I'm gonna just be looking back at shit weird like mm, did I really want to do that you feel me like I want it to be at the end of the day I want it to be my exactly so my decision yeah exactly like uh yeah. but yeah I can't yeah, yeah. I don't know I feel but the same way about my rap nerd brand you know what I'm saying I don't feel like I want to sell it to nobody it's like this is my mm -hmm. baby I want to be the one that's driving my ship steering my ship you know facts and it's uh and I wouldn't say that, and that's not for everybody either. I don't want people to get that confused. Like, that's if true. it is, like, for some people, like, some people is in different places in life. So, like, if you're in a position where you just can't say no to a deal, like, it's, it could it could help you right now, I would say then do that shit, but have that long-term plan, you feel me? Like, have that plan just for, like, not not saying that shit's gonna go bad, but just for after, because once the label is done with you, they done with you. Like, they the money stops getting put behind. Like, you know how the politics and shit works, but right yeah for sure and one of the last questions i want to ask you like what advice would you give to indie artists coming up like you know a kid that's 16 just just trying to make it don't really got the budget like that but really want to get their music out there like how would you advise them to move i would say just do that shit. i don't care if you got to record on a on a uh, on an ipad or iphone i don't care what you got to record on if you want to make music i would say the best thing that you could do is start putting music out just so you can see how the shit works, see how 
excuse me, see how the fans is going to fuck with you. Just start to build it up. Like, even though it might not be, you might not have a budget to shoot like a thousand dollar video, shoot a video by yourself, have somebody hold the phone for you. Because at the end of the day, that's why I, be, I tell a lot of young artists, it's like, you need to take advantage of your youth. Cause right now you could get away with doing some shit like that. You could get away with shooting a video on your phone, recording songs on your phone because it's cool because you're 16. Like people are gonna, people are gonna wanna look back on that like in 10 years, like, damn, this is where you started as opposed to like starting that shit when you like, it's cool to come on with some like professional shit. You can wait till you get the right, till you get your money right and then go to a professional studio, record, do your shit. But like, I don't know. I feel like you find yourself as an artist when you, when you on your like when you on your own when you got to do it like that when you got to start from the bottom like that you're gonna find your sound and then once you do get to that stage in your career then that's when you uh you go into you go into those positions like recording studios like with the mindset of knowing like your sound and knowing yourself pretty much you're not letting nobody else dictate that shit okay so I was, yeah just just do it like do it it don't matter how bad you think it sounds it don't like because yeah if you want to do that shit then do it yeah, that's great advice, man. So indie artists, y'all take heed, man. I want to thank you for being a part of the first episode of Rap Nerd Radio, man. I appreciate, yeah, appreciate you, man. You. Yeah, keep doing your thing, man. You got any shout outs or uh, can you also let the people know where they can find you at? Uh, find me on social media, uh, Twitter underscore JBash underscore Instagram underscore JBash, TikTok JBash47. Check out the website, mbhthewave.com. Uh, that's where you can get you one of these Cannabis Coast Crunch hoodies, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And uh, shout out to MBH too. We got a project on the way. That's my group. It's uh, Steve, uh, Perp Steve's on Instagram. You can find him right there. And uh, Momar BLK, you can find him on Instagram. But yeah, we about to start working on our uh, group collab project soon. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, for sure. I'm gonna make sure I put all the links down below in the description as well. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here, but before we do, we're gonna have J Badge introduce his video. Right. Now we're gonna uh, play All a Dream featuring Neff the Pharaoh and Cameron Kelly off my project, Chapter Four, Side B. Go check it out. It's out on uh, all streaming platforms. All right, y'all. Peace. Appreciate you. Tape pop 2015, it was Annie's person whack. Trying to get clean, if I could, I would stop. But I'm deep inside the game, fourth quarter hit the shot. Go and check the scope, niggas know it really got it. Trapping out the whip, I'm only taking cash deposits. They said this money evil, but the leaders is the problem. And I can't go an hour without thinking about my mama. That's why every hour I be rolling up for real. Abusing painkillers, how the fuck ain't nothing heal? Tell the same story, cause this life I really live in. Once a nigga get it, they gon' say I'm acting different. I'd rather see a strung out, broke, or in prison. Or killing each other to make a song just to diss them We killing each other to be forgotten in the distance I pray for my people, we gotta fight us and the system That's why I hear new music and don't be feeling it Real niggas still alive, they just be trying to censor us Many men can get it, I got 50 in this honey bun When it's war time, all them pictures don't mean shit to us goofy Living life like it's a movie Get your head knocked off, fucking with these groupies Cause I got bitches that'll get you for a QP Real life, only thing I want is new cheese I remember being broke I used to sip green All these pills catching up and they can't sleep Trying to tell my young life don't be me But I know that in the end they gon' live free Sometimes I wake up and wish that it was all a dream For real hey. On magazine, hitting licks with poop three days in the same jeans. Never thought it could happen, this rapper stuff. I was posted on the P, living life with breath. And now we 
young war toys, they man, I know. One girl's two boys, proud that I show. Only time you catch me backing in the Escalade. Cause I'ma be here for a while, I got checks to make. We got the stepping on them niggas, they ain't tryna race. Slot, make them do the Diddy Bop, chop a name, Mace. Do my lawyer a few bands and I beat the case. Hopped out in a new bin, shoulda seen they face. It's the B I G C H A N G, Rio, foes paid me. I'm at the BT Awards with the rarest kicks. And I ain't flying nothing out, it's just me and my kids. Change. Non-stop indie hip-hop, right here on Rap Nerd Radio.